you going? What a day. No freaking way I can do it. Five hey, years of learning and all for nothing. nothing. Easy money. I just have to get it right, right this time. Our logo needs to see if you're good enough. Come on, I won't bite. Hey, that's the pill. Not the job. The others? Garbage. Everything hmm, handcrafted. Thank you. And come again. I'm gonna send you to meet my partners. Might have some work. Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, Pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julian, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Bevan says. What? But I don't sell water. Liar! Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? Oh, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast. I wonder what the hell is going on in the central loop system. Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. So... Maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? 
He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. Some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. What's this test about? Our goats. They're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. So what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. I'm missing a few parts. And they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see, as far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. But I can't promise anything. I would be very grateful. Parts for Carlos and his groundbreaking fence. <laughs> Hope he's still waiting at the bazaar.
to send a message. I gave you money to buy water, and what did you do? You put the card in for me, sir. How should I know you have scared?
Hey there. Rehearsing for the big night? Where did you come from, handsome? I heard you, uh, singing. Don't lie to Lola, sweet cheeks. Bet you thought someone was strangling a cat. Uh, not at all. I, I... See this neck? You shouldn't be able to. Usually, it's wrapped in the softest, most rare of mink stoles. Lola was the grand dame of the bazaar. But until reunited with her beloved Mink Stoll, she is unfit to perform. But how will Lola dazzle anyone without her beloved Mink Stoll? Without it, I can't hit the high notes. And you don't see Mink scampering about everywhere, do you? Now, where is it? Earlier, a strong gust of wind ripped it from Lola's tender throat and carried it away. I saw it flapping from the scaffolding near the GRE quarantine at the intersection of Market and Horseshoe. Lola is powerless to retrieve it. Well, uh, I could. Would you? Lola could return to the bazaar to entertain, not frighten children like a lurking screamer. Well, we can't have that. No, indeed. Thank you, my knight in shining Whatever it is that you're wearing, I shall await you at the bazaar. Hurry, my fans await. <laughs> 